Rogan, I back. Welcome, fans, to another edition of Extreme Debates. Our topic for today is Proposition 87, a proposed fee on states' oil companies to pay for alternative fuel development. To debate this issue, we have UCANS, Michael Shames, supporting Prop 87, and from the oil companies, Ms. Fatwa Mangles, opposing the measures. <coughs> Neither of the debaters are aware that we've rigged their podiums with diesel exhaust. Anytime they tell a lie or a falsehood, they'll get sprayed with diesel exhaust proportionate to that lie. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Had to put on my eyeliner. <clears throat> the first question for the proponent of Proposition 87 is why should voters approve a fee of any type, even though it is focused upon the oil companies? Because it's about time that oil companies pay their fair share. Other states impose oil production fees of up to 14%, yet here in California, we charge oil producers less than 1%. In fact, California makes more money from its hunting and fishing licenses than it does from oil drilling fees. We can't solve the state's financial problems with yet another tax. Taxes aren't the only solution. And besides, if we tax the oil companies, it'll just result in higher gas and oil prices for Californians. <laughs> Alrighty then, the next question is who exactly pays for this fee? Consumers or oil companies? That's a simple answer. The oil companies, because by law they cannot pass this fee through to consumers. While we will obey the law, we can't ignore the laws of supply and demand. They will force oil prices... <coughs> well, they might force oil prices up. <coughs> On to our final question of this debate. How will the estimated $4 billion in revenues be used to encourage alternative fuels? The goal is to get things cheaper and cleaner. We can clean California's air, reduce pollution-related diseases, and take an important step towards combating global warming. Plus, remember, alternative fuel is competition to dirty fuels. We desperately need competition to get our prices lower. And we can do it with no new bureaucracies, no backroom deals, and no taxes on consumers. The goals sound nice, but it only results in less money for education. <coughs> It'll reduce property taxes and create a new bureaucracy. <coughs> Okay, okay. If you really want to know, it's really bad for the oil companies. And what's bad for the oil companies is bad for the consumer. Well, folks, it appears the debate has been concluded by asphyxiation. Let's hope this clears the air of disinformation about Proposition 87. Good night. Don't die out there, and please return for another edition of Extreme Debates! <laughs>